in today's session of Divorce Court. Sparks flew instantly when Christina met Arthur. She thought he was someone she could count on and she looked forward to their life together. They got married and started a family. But when Christina went to school to become a medical assistant, she says Arthur wasn't there for her. Pregnant, I did eight months of school. Would you support me there? No, you would not. I went and let you stick me in my button, in my arms. What? That was my support. And now she says Arthur wants her out. I had a four month old baby in my arms when you threw me out of the house. Now why are you laughing while she's crying? Today, Christina Snowden and Arthur Smith face the judge in divorce court. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the matter of Arthur Smith versus Christina Snowden. I'm advised that you people are separating and divorcing after one and one half years of marriage. Why so soon, Mrs. Snowden? Your Honor, I was married to this man for one year, three months, three weeks, three hours, three minutes. Three seconds, too long. Whoa. Okay. Too One long. minute, three months, three hours, three, three minutes, seconds, three too minutes, long. Too long. That's too long, saying a lot. Your Honor. You may have to be with him a few more minutes, though. I'm sorry to tell you. <laughs> you got to give me time to rule on this. Think you can handle that? Yes. All right. Yes. Why? Your Honor. You got it down to the seconds. This man threw. Me and my children out of the house. I did not. Threw you out of the house. Yes, you did. I did not. Yes, he did that for the second true. time in our marriage. That is not true. Okay, in the short time we're married, he has taken my car keys, he's taken my house keys, he has thrown me and my children out of the house. That is not true. In one year, in three one months, year and three, three minutes, and yes, three seconds, he's done all yes, that. Yes, That is not true. Your car. Okay, Where excuse is your me, car key? Excuse me, your car? Where my is your car? car? What's the significance of the question, Mr. Smith? Where She's is the saying I took her car. She said you took the keys. To the keys. The keys to my car. For the whole time we were married and all while we were together, she never held a job. Never. Excuse me. As you far weren't married as, that as far as, as, uh, Never. <laughs> never. All right, now you danced for Your a while. Honor. That was it. All right, you yes, went. I did. Wait a minute. Yes, Wait. I did. Excuse me. And you lived quite Excuse well me, off Snowden. of the income. He I says you danced all for a while. Time. What do you mean by dance? Exotic. Oh, exotic dancing. Was she doing that for pleasure or did she get paid? She got paid. So you don't call that work? Not for a month and a half out of almost two years. But you no said matter. she never worked when you were married. Never and four months is two different things. Yes, ma'am. Now, is exotic dancing work or play? It's work. Oh, OK. So she did work. Go on, finish. What bills were paid, I paid. Now, yes, it was work, but that was not a significant time. No, excuse time. me. The that bills was not that a significant paid were paid time. Hold on, Mrs. No, let me see where you're going with this. It wasn't I four months. It was more like a month or less. I took you to a couple of uh, amateur things that you did not win, so you did not get paid. You okay. are amateur what? If she liar. didn't win, you are lying. My mother paid the bills in that house. Did she not loan us Tink. the money to Tink. pay the bills to bail Tink. your sorry behind out when you got laid off and could not take care of the bills? Did she not? And I told her I did would pay that back. Uh, yeah, you would pay. Have you didn't paid her back? And, what and have what you given my mother back? That? Didn't she what say that that was What have you given my mother gift? back? I want to know the significance of all of this. Why are we talking about it? Because this the fact is coming, that she didn't work. What because is this? this is coming down to finances, and I have held a job forever. Wait a minute. Now, you keep using these phrases that you have to take back. I've held a job but forever. Ma'am, and but I, I, was, I was laid off for a period of less than a month before I started working again. I'm a welder. I am not hard-pressed for a job. <laughs> But forever is... and laid off a month, you didn't work doing well, it for a month. Things happen. Okay. You know, things happen. Things happen. I'm not suggesting they don't, but you keep using these phrases and then you have to take it back. So you worked most of the time during the marriage. Is that what you're telling yes, me? Yes, ma'am. And she did. No, ma'am. Not. What did she do? Was she working before you married her? You were around the house. Around the house doing nothing. I didn't spend eight months in MA school. Well, wait a minute. And, Don't oh, you have okay. children? Did I, did I do eight months up, of medical assistant she's training? Up the medical did I not do training. schooling? She did all did that I not, could not, could not get support for well, four Snow, weeks you, of training? Miss Snowden. You four. ask him a question and you don't let him answer it. Four weeks. I now, she's bringing up the medical school. Four weeks. She did go to the medical training. And as far as my lack of support, 
I went and let you stick me in my button, in my arms. What? That was my support. This was for her yes, training. Yes, he did. Okay. Yes, you were the did, guinea pig. Yes, ma'am, yes, I was. Yes, he was my guinea pig. And Please. You know, support you her showed student. me all the Please. support. Yes. So she went through all of that, that schooling. That was the exit she exam. She went through all of that schooling. How long did you keep a job in that field? Excuse me, could I get How a job in that field? You, you know you why? Did get hired. All, it was four you weeks did get of hired. internal training, and you, you would did. not ask anybody in your family to watch okay. the two right. children. That, that's Mrs. all Snowden. I needed. That is all I needed was you to keep those kids for four weeks out of the eight months I took that training because pregnant with your youngest child, pregnant. I did eight months of school. And all it was four weeks to do that internal thing to get a job in the hospital. Would you support me there? You no, told you would me not. That me that you would not support me. You, you did you not support that me. That was you not you. Stop. I can't have all of you just bickering back and she forth. She said that I'm not that was not her. That's why you weren't keeping that job. That's what Excuse you me. told no, me. No, I didn't get a job. Why didn't I get it? Because you would not Let me ask him the question. You ask your question, you answer it, and you don't listen to what's being said. I'm sorry, you want me to quit talking. Joe has a clinic there. You can calm Sorry. down. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Why are you crying? Thank you. Because I asked her why she was crying, and I didn't ask you to comment, Mr. Smith. When I married him, okay, I didn't get any support in this marriage at all. When I got, but let me ask you something. Did you go to medical school? I went to medical school. When you went to medical assistant school, was your husband working? <laughs> yes, my husband was working. Was he paying the bills? No, he was not paying the bills. So do you call that no assistance if he was I working while you were going to school? No assistance, meaning he worked, but he didn't pay the bills. What did he do with his money? He, I don't know what if he did with his money. If I didn't, I, how did I, the I, bills get paid? Mr. Mr. Smith, to you. I'm going to give you a chance. He did not pay the bills. He paid on the bills. He paid half of the bills. The lights got shut off. The gas got shut off. That was during the time I was laid off, too. It was. And we got them back on, did we not? I, we have a budget Matter bill fact, in I Michigan. Matter of fact, I Okay, the budget bill is if you on. do did not I... pay this bill, you, they, it's, it's, it's a small minimum amount on the bill. If you do not pay this bill, then you have to pay the entire big amount of the bill. He so did is not that why you're crying? Smaller... Because he didn't pay a bill? It's not just the bill. It is the emotional stress that we went through during the marriage. What, like it's, what? It was the other things, the screaming, the hollering, the fact that he put, he threw me and my children out I of the house. Why did he throw you out of the house? Because not. he was accused of cheating. Which is not true. Okay. Because he was accused of cheating. He was accused of cheating. He got angry, threw the baby yeah. out, my seven-year-old well, out, two other people's children, took the house keys, took the car keys, slammed my foot in the door in the middle of the afternoon on a summer day. I didn't have baby bottles. I didn't have diapers. I didn't have anything. I had other people's she children when he threw me out. You, when you, you pushed me out of the door, when you, you pushed me leave. and that baby out of that house, you. You how did leave? I leave by Go. myself? You I threw me out. You want to leave? You Go. threw me out. That's what I told you. You did not put right. your hands on me. You did not Did you not put your hands on me? That's what I told you. You did not. Mrs. Snowden. I had a four-month-old baby in my arms. Thank you, You threw me out of the house. You did with those children. I'm sorry. Let him talk. When Divorce Court returns, Arthur testifies about being with another woman and the son that might be his. I came right in the house and told you what happened to him. So you just told you ran into somebody that you had dated and 18 years ago. And she said that it was possible that we had a son. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Christina Snowden, who is divorcing her husband, Arthur, because she says he threw her out of their house. Now, why are you laughing while she's crying? Because this is all looks very good. I did not throw her out. So tell I me your version. I did not throw her out the house. I came home and told her that I, a woman I was with in high school, all right? I'm talking about 18, 19 years old. I'm 41. That's way in the past. I told her. No, if you I didn't. Was, I came no, in you right and told you. Calm yourself and I let him finish. I came right in the house and no, told you what happened, Tina. No, 
If what did you I'm tell him? I told her who I ran into. No, he didn't. So you just told you ran into somebody that you had no, dated and 18 years ago. And she said that it was possible that we had a son. I told you, and you went off on me. Now, if no, I'm cheating didn't. on her, why would I come and bring that up to my wife? No, let me, let me understand it. You ran into somebody that you had known in high school. Yes, ma'am. Over 18 years ago. More than that. More I, than 18 years. I was 18. Years. I'm 41 now. All right. And this woman told you that you had a child. Possibly. That may be yours. That yes, there was a son that she had. Yes, ma'am. And it may be your son. Yes, ma'am. And that's the first time the woman had ever told you that. Yes, ma'am. And you came home and told your wife yes, that. Yes, I did. Is that the person you're accusing him of cheating on? Yes, that is the person I'm accusing him of. Hold on a sec. Did he tell you that? That is not what he did. That is not what he did. Your Honor, he left the house at 8 o'clock in the morning. He's supposed to be going to the market. He has to be at work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. He shows back home at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, walks past me, goes upstairs, takes a shower, to go to work as a welder. He works something but mad. Where have you been? So uh, he, he can't went... take a shower because he no. only works with men? Men don't like funky? No, but he doesn't do funky. He does funky. You know, he does not come home and take a shower to be around other funky men. So she's saying that she's in pain because she thought you were cheating on her because you ran into an old Which girlfriend. Which is not true. You know, all I do is work and come home. You so know then that. why are your finances so out of... Uh, our finances aren't. Matter of fact, our finances are not our finances so anymore. So they're together? They are my, mine are fine. Oh, yours mine are fine. Mine are fine. Yes, they I are. I see. Yes, so you, don't, you haven't gotten to the, to the phrase our yet. Ours mm -mm. are no more. We've been apart mm -mm. for over a year. Whatever thing she has concurred, she's done on her own. What about the diamond rings? The, that is the only thing that I can even remotely say that I should pay. But, but... Wedding rings, if you are not going to be married, why keep a symbol of the marriage? Diamonds don't lose value. Neither does gold. Take them, get them appraised, subtract that That's from what it is. I'll so where it. is the wedding ring? Where is your wedding ring? Mine is here. So what you're saying is, since the marriage is over, take the wedding ring, turn it in. If the wedding is over, why would you keep a symbol of your marriage? Are jewelry stores in the habit of taking back wedding rings when the marriage is over? The size and fits. Your you didn't tell me that they would take that back, Tina? No, I did not. Why are you trying to hold on to the ring? This is my ring. But do you still owe on it? Yes, ma'am. So then why do you think they want it back if you still owe on it? Thank you, daughter. Is that what you're suggesting, that she take the ring back and they'll wipe out the debt? I'm saying <laughs> that the, the, not the whole debt, but that ring should be used to break that debt down. I do not want to pay for your that. Your Honor, for her if he me. had made What about your ring? Did you buy your ring from the same jewelry store? I have not worn this, and I gave her this back. Wait I a minute, did you get it, it from the same jewelry back. store? Yes, ma'am. And you don't want it? No, I do not. And she can it's take still... that one back? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. And turn it in? And take this it's one also. Right there. Okay, give him your wedding ring then. Now, how much you think you can get for that, Mrs. Snow? <laughs> well, this is a person who has a size 14 hand. I Unusual. I can't get anything for this. This you can't get anything for it? Now, come on, Miss Snow. I don't know what I could get for this. I mean, it, it, but... How much did you pay for it? The ring itself was $99. The fitting for his hand was $155. Oh, my Lord. The no. ring costs more. Okay. The fitting costs more than the ring? <laughs> get that ring back. <laughs> now, what else do you think she can turn in to take the bill down? I'm done with it. What's all that other jewelry sitting there? Well, she, I was told that she said she bought me this necklace. She gave me this charm. She could take all of this back. She so, in other words, off. every gift she gave you, she can take it back. You don't want any of it. That's true. Well, he don't want anything you gave him. No, I, I, I learned that. Except for my children. I learned it. So you, so you want that jewelry back? I don't want the jewelry back. I don't want him back. I don't want anything to do with it. I want what I want. What is, do you want? The total was $953. The jewelry, everything else, I don't, I don't want it. Yes, I give it to him as a gift. He can keep it. Choke on it. I don't care. You know, I, I don't care. You just want him to pay the bill. But I want him to pay the bill. That's all I want. Have you talked to them? And you, do you know if they'll take that jewelry back? They're not going to take the jewelry back. The, the rings were fitted specifically for his, for his hand. I don't think they'll take my that My ring was fitted for my hand. The, the finance charges that is built up since it has not been paid on, is more so than what the jury itself calls it's the worth. price. You know, it, it, the so, finance charges have got me. There's a lot of jewelry you're wearing on your ears, too. I bought that before I came to California. Pull, pull your hair back. Let me see. Yes, now, as far as that goes. Hold yeah. on a second. Now, how do I know 
Yeah. How many diamond earrings is that? There's only two. These are zirconias. Now, some. Oh, zirconias. Did yes, you buy the zirconias from the, from the jewelry store, too? Oh, no, I can't. My card is shot. So you bought two diamond you know, earrings? Is, yeah, but not off the credit card. You my credit cash? card is after. My credit card is gone, yes. You so you, stop. Uh. My credit card is gone. You, too. Did you pay cash for the diamond earring? Yes, ma'am. After the separation? Yes, ma'am. And instead of paying on that bill? Yes, I did. Anything else? No, ma'am. What about you, Mr. Smith? Anything else? Oh, I'm fine. All right. I'm going to take a break and make a decision. Court will be, be at recess. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. Uh, let me just give you warning. It's my turn to talk now and just mine. All right? You'll hear your ruling out in the hallway. And an update on the case of Faith Albertson versus Joseph Albertson. Every single month, it was pay the wedge, pay the wedge. Pay the wedge? That's what she calls my ex-wife. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back and the verdict is in. In the case of Christina Snowden, who says her husband Arthur kicked her out of their house because he got tired of her. We're back in the matter of Arthur Smith versus Christina Snowden. Neither of you has presented to court with sufficient evidence, but based upon your testimony, I can't, <clears throat> that is evidence, but the documentary evidence you presented is not sufficient to state your claim, Ms. Ms. Snowden. The document that you gave me, it really hurts you. So next time you're going to bring in evidence, make sure it helps you. Uh, let me just give you warning. It's my turn to talk now and just mine. You had a habit of talking over Mr. Smith when he was talking and you butt in on him. You can get away with that. Not me. All right? You'll hear your ruling out in the hallway. Don't talk over me. The account was opened in 95. It was closed in May of 1999, a year after you separated from him. You had the account when you met him. You kept the account after you separated. I cannot tell when these charges were incurred, and I do not believe for one minute that this account got to $2,000 on finance charges for $953 in one year. Now, I went to school, and I know a little math. And I know finance charges are high these days, but not that high. So I'm using my best estimate um, of payments that were made and finance charges accumulating on that $953. Each of you is responsible for half of that. I'm going to order you to pay $400, Mr. Smith. The rest of the debt, Ms. Snowden, you'll be responsible for. Mm -hmm. That's the order of the court. Court is adjourned. All rise. Parties may leave the courtroom. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Faith Albertson versus Joseph Albertson. Did you have some jealousy over the ex-wife? That's her reason for going out and having an affair that is not and ruining our marriage. Closed captioning for Divorce Court provided by... If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, Call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. After only four and a half years, Faith and Joseph Albertson could agree on only one thing, that their marriage was over. The biggest problem was their constant arguing about money. Every single month, Pay the wedge, pay the wedge. Pay the wedge? That's what I she call calls my ex-wife, Your Honor. It's a wedge between us. How much did you pay for those Beanie Babies? I've probably spent about $2,000 on the Bought breasts. Oh. Bought breasts. I get half of those. <laughs> you don't get those, baby. Yes. But there were other problems, too. Did you have some jealousy over the ex-wife? That's her reason for going out and having an affair that is not and ruining reason. our marriage. What's the affair? What is that all what about? What is that about? It just happened. It just happened. That sounds like a teenager. The judge ordered the couple's Beanie Baby collection to be sold, but Faith was not happy with the decision. I don't want half a collection. Half a collection is not worth anything. 
I've spent so you much time. You want to get rid of all of them? We can do we that. We should just sell Mr. them all. Take them all. Since then, Faith and Joseph have made arrangements to sell their house, but say that now that the financial pressures are easing, they are both happier than they've been in a long time. I, I, I think the decision could have been better, you know, but it was fair. I'm going to go with it. Uh, this is not going to affect me and my children whatsoever. I'm going to see my girls for college. I'm fine. Oh, I know I'll get married again, but this time I'll make a better decision, a better choice. We're, we're not, we're not going to get along, but the children aren't going to be involved in it whatsoever.